With the new Four Nightmares 2022 update around the corner, we have all the information about it, all of the upcoming Four Nightmares free rewards, the trailer for Four Nightmares 2022, and much, much more. Trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video, as we're going to be going over everything that will be included with the brand new Four Nightmares update. Just quickly, I'm still gifting five people who do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. And also, drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account. We do have some pretty cool skins available inside of the item shop today, such as the Concepts of Fear bundle. I have to say, it's definitely super sick. If any of you guys haven't picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support credit code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel and allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. And with all of that being said, let's get straight into today's brand new video. First of all, with Four Nightmares 2022, it looks like we're going to be seeing the return of the shadows from Chapter 2 Season 4. It was all a part of the Midas Revenge Four Nightmares event, which obviously was super cool. So if you do actually die in the middle of a match, you do return to the game in the form of one of these shadows. But we do know this because if you do actually take a look at this month's Fortnite crew pack, obviously you can see the loading screen for this actual skin itself. In the top left corner, you can clearly see what looks to be a chrome version of one of these shadows. They will be returning to the game for this upcoming event which is definitely super cool obviously with them being a little bit different who knows we may even be able to get the original version of the shadow which was part of chapter 2 season 4 as a potential free skin be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in getting the shadow as a skin as i definitely think it would look super cool but begin to the next part of the update is actually going to be the addition of a brand new mythic boss we did actually have our first look at on the four nightmares teaser itself obviously you can see in the background there's some sort of wolf character behind the logo obviously would fit the theme of four nightmares 20 22, but it actually looks like this is going to be a brand new mythic boss that will be placed on the map with the brand new update as well. It is said that you will have a lot of different chrome abilities, so the chances are it will obviously be linked in with the storyline for season 4. Most likely will be coming to the item shop as well in the form of a brand new skin, which I definitely think would be super cool. This boss most likely will be walking around all of the different chrome locations that we currently have on the map, such as Chromey Crossroads. All of the other chrome locations that will be added with the new update, consider we know that the chrome will be taking over even more more of the map this year. Obviously what you guys are most excited for is the addition of all of the brand new Four Nightmares themed challenges which obviously will be giving us all of this year's brand new free rewards. So far we've only actually been able to take a look at one of the upcoming free rewards which is this email right here which you can see is called It's a Watch. I'm not gonna lie I don't know exactly how this fits in with Four Nightmares but it's still a pretty cool emote nonetheless obviously all of those sweaty players need a watch. Most likely we'll be seeing the addition of even more of them such as brand new back blings, harvesting tools, gliders and possibly even emotes these challenges go live i would make sure you're completing each and every single one of them as you never know there could be some sort of bonus reward that you can actually unlock by completing every single one of them it has been heavily rumored that we could actually be seeing the addition of a brand new free skin by completing all of the four nightmares challenges this year it's definitely pretty cool considering we normally ever only see these free skins arrive around the winterfest season when we're actually able to open up the presents make sure you do all of those challenges once they go live as you never know what kind of reward it will be next up with four nightmares 2022 it does look like we're going to be seeing the addition of all brand new Four Nightmares teams collaborations arriving in the game considering we have had leaks for quite some time now that Freddy Krueger himself will actually be arriving in the game soon. It's also said that he will be an upcoming boss on the Four Nightmares map itself and also an obtainable skin inside of the item shop. Well this would make sense anyways if you do take a look at the official Four Nightmares 2022 teaser, the caption does say tis the season of screams, bad dreams and all monsters things. Well if you do take the first part it does say tis the season of screams so there is a chance that we could be potentially be seeing a Scream collab, adding in the brand new Ghostface skin, which was obviously seen in Call of Duty last year. And moving on again, it does say Bad Dreams, which obviously would go straight hand in hand with Freddy Krueger, considering that's exactly what he does in those movies. For monstrous things, that could really mean anything. You seem to have some small teasers that Freddy Krueger will finally be making his way to the game, and the chances are he most likely will be a boss at the Grim Gables POI. I just think it would be a pretty cool POI to obviously have a Freddy Krueger boss running around who most likely will be able to teleport around this POI. Well, it also looks like we do have a chance of seeing a Michael Myers skin added to the game as well, Consider we did actually just have the release of the brand new Halloween Ends movie. Obviously, Michael Myers being a really popular horror icon, it would make sense that they do do a collaboration for him. So, considering Halloween is actually made by Universal Studios, who also did a collaboration with Fortnite last year. That's why we did have the addition of Frankenstein and the Mummy skin, considering they are all Universal characters, so it definitely does look like we also have a chance of seeing Michael Myers 
added this year. Be sure to let me know down in the comments out of any horror icons that you could potentially see arrive in the game, what character would you like to see? Also with Fortnite Nightmares 2022, it looks like we're going to see all of the animals that we currently have on the Fortnite map turning into zombies, as you can actually see from the loading screen for the brand new pack that's available in the item shop right now. Get your first look at the upcoming undead chickens that will be around the map, and it does look like they're more or less going to be the exact same kind of animal, but this time around they actually will be aggressive attacking players on the map. Same does apply to the wolves and also the boars on the map, so that's definitely pretty cool. And on the topic of all of the animals turning into zombies this year, it also looks like we could be seeing the return of Clombo too. That's over the past few seasons, we've still seen his skeleton sitting on the map right next to Logjam Junction, so it actually does look like he will be returning officially in the form of a brand new zombie Clombo. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely pretty cool because I know a lot of people have missed the addition of Clombo on the Fortnite map considering we haven't had him now for the past three seasons. It definitely still has me pretty hyped for it. We're also set to get tons of other collaborations as well over the Four Nightmares theme season, considering we do know that we're going to be getting the addition of the Black Adam skin on the 20th of October. It's just four days from now, which obviously is going to give you the addition of the brand new Black Adam skin, alongside with his back bling, a new harvesting tool, and also a loading screen. I still think it's hilarious that we do have another Dwayne Johnson skin that is in the game, considering obviously he does play the foundation as well. And if any of you guys are going to be needing this skin, make sure to do all the steps at the very start of this video, as I'm going to be gifting out a ton of you guys this brand new Black Adam bundle. With the Four Nightmares 2022 update, it also looks like we're going to be getting the challenges for the Herald skin, which obviously is a secret skin inside of the Battle Pass. It's set to be releasing on the 3rd of November, which obviously means you will be able to unlock that skin alongside with all of its other cosmetics. Also, keep in mind that there's actually another page of awards that is currently hidden from us right now, so we obviously will be getting those as well. Most likely will come in the form of other edit styles for the skin itself and possibly other cosmetics that will be linked to it. It does look like that this entire Four Nightmares event will be focused around the Herald just like how we did have it last year with the Wrath of the Cube Queen. With us now having confirmation that everything going on on the Four Nightmares map here inside of Season 4 is all linked to what happened at the end of Chapter 2. The Cube Queen did come from a place called The Last Reality, which is actually the exact same place that the Herald and the Nothing actually come from. This is some of the challenges that we've actually had to do for the fight skin, we actually got confirmation of this. Well, for the unknown Nothing character that we have heard so much about over Season 4, it actually looks like we've gotten our very first look at him as well from an Epic game survey. And well, here's what that skin does look like. And you can definitely see that the face of it actually does look very much like all of the ships that we did have during the Alien season. We most likely will be seeing him before the end of this season, most likely at the upcoming season's live event that will be happening in December. Be sure to let me know down in the comments, are you guys excited to be able to unlock the Herald skin here inside of Season 4's Battle Pass, or do you think it's a really bad skin? Obviously, Four Nightmares is going to be starting in just two days' time, and I'm pretty sure there's tons of surprises left in store for us that we still have not yet seen. So be sure to keep you guys updated on everything that we will be getting with the brand new 22.20 update which is arriving on the 18th of October. Fortunately that is all I pretty much have for you guys in today's video. For the secret word of today's video it is going to be the word Herald. If you did watch all the way to the very end of this video make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID and if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.